friends. I miss you. That's why I always miss you. Um, so I told you what I would do a super eat poster and I also have some sentences that um, I'm going to show you with um, your sight words this week, which I'm thinking are helping too if I'm on the right packet as you. I feel like I've been making so many packets I don't know where I am. Um, okay, so hopefully you can see this right here. This is super eat. And what I did was um, write some words and then we're going to see how they change when you add um, an E to the end, okay? Um, so the first one I did up here is t -ap, tap, you know that. And then if I added an E, it says t a with this super E. So I circled it and I jump over one letter and A says A. I know you said that. Then we have right here. And I know this is on your super E video, so hopefully you know this one. Um, G am, and they would go, ner, 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 right? Because that doesn't make any sense. But if you come over here, I forgot my arrow. If you come over here and you add an E to the end, G-A-M-E says game. Remember, because it circled the E, jump over one letter, it makes the A say A. So we went from gam to game, and A is saying in its own name, right? Okay. Here we have this. Hop, hop, we add an E. Work on, I keep mixing up my mark. If we had an E, then it's going to say, oh, hope. Like, I hope we have a great day. Hope. Circle the E, jump over one letter, and your O is going to say O. Okay? Um, if I don't go too fast, maybe you can do this with me. Hopefully you know what we're doing right now because we've done this a lot of times. Um, okay, let's do this one. B a s bass. If that was on the super E, it would go ner 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 because that's not a word. But if I add an E to it, then it's gonna say b a s base, like a baseball. The beginning of that, or if I'm running during baseball and you have to hit the base, that's what you run to. Okay. Um. Here's another word that you probably know. Hug. Hug. Okay. But if I add an E to it, the U is going to say its name. So let's think about that. So we're going to go huge. Huge. So it's like gigantic. Okay. Huge. So hug becomes huge. Oh my goodness, this works so easy for you. You've been learning this since the very beginning of kindergarten. K and can. All right. If I put an E on the end, and what do I do? I circle my E, jump over one letter, and the vowel says its name. So what vowel is that? A. So we're going to say A. So let's try this. K A. N cane. Like a candy cane or... If you hurt your leg, you might need to use a cane to help you walk, right? Um, and then this last one we're going to do is VIN. Is VIN something? I guess there's a VIN number in your car, but we don't care about that right now. VIN, but if I add an E to it, what do I do? Circle the E, jump over one letter, and that I is going to say its name I, okay? So vin becomes vine, vine, like the vines on the tree or like on a plant or something, right? So I hope that we've done this enough that you kind of recognize this. And I know you got um, a paper like that in your packet this week, looks like this. So I'm just reminding you, I know a lot of you know that, which I'm really happy about. 
um, but I was just refreshing you on that. Um, make sure you look at the video if you can because it's kind of a fun way to do it, but also like this helps you remember and the song helps you do more stuff, okay? Um, also, I wanted to show you some ideas for sentences. Um, I'm sure that you can think of better ones, but this one says, I want to help. So you have I want and to for your sight words. So it's always good to use other sight words you already know um, to help you learn a new one, okay? I want to help. This one says, can I go to? And again, you already know these first three words. Um, and to means I want to go also. Like if, if your mom is giving your brother or your sister a cookie and you're like, I want one too. Like that, right? You want to go, you want to do something, you want to have something also. Okay. Um, let's do a review really quick. Who remembers what that name, that thing goes at the end of a sentence? Period, right? I bet you said that. And then we have a, some of you call that a mystery symbol. That's called a question mark, right? Qu question mark. And this one right here, what's that one called? Exclamation mark. That's when, remember, it's like when you say something louder. It could be when you're mad or you're happy or you're excited. But it's when you raise your voice a little bit, right? Um, those are the different endings you have when you're writing your sentence. So think about that when you are writing your sentence. You might have something a little more interesting than what I just wrote. Um, but anyways, those things can help you do a really good job um, making sentences for yourself. Um, anytime you guys make anything, if you guys want to send them to me, I'd love to see them. Um, but I guess that's all I've got for you right now. And I hope that you're having a great day. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope the sun comes out so you can play. All right. Thank you.